Hey guys, it's me Yuki Players, and today I show you the build of the El Nassar 4. The only existing optical sniper that exists. And on my opinion, it feels underrated. It can be very good, but only when you put bounty chips on it. I already play tested it, so I already know how good this weapon is. So I'm sorry for that. I'm not doing this blind, but I'm doing this video for you guys. So you can also see how good this weapon can be. So the weapon I'm talking about is this one. It's the only optical sniper that exists, sadly. I wish there would be more optical, uh, optical weapons, but that's what we have what we have to be happy for that we have at least some optical s stuff here but yeah this is the sniper there's a lot of locations where you can get it and where you can get it I will show you now okay guys the first location where you can get it is here somewhere here yeah uh, if you have this chest and you go a little bit down there but I think it's it's visible and then there is this S-type sniper drone. There are all over the map. I, ju I have to look at it. <laughs> it was hard. But yeah, I found one. He here's one and he's gonna drop the Al Nasa and I died there. <laughs> this is perfect. But yeah, the, the S-type S-type sniper drone gonna drop it. It's uh, dropped all over the place. You have to look for them. So, hope you're lucky and find some of them. Better than just the one that we have here. And yeah, happy farming. The next way you can get it is here in the defensive battle reception. You need to go to level 8 or rank 8. And Behemoth is eventually gonna drop it. So, you just need to be lucky here as well. And when we are ready here... The other way you can get it is also here in the BUB simulation reception. Grandmaster class. Shiki is gonna drop it eventually. You just need a little bit luck here. So, not really recommended when you have DLC 4. Because then in the White Frontier it's easier to farm those sniper drones instead of here the Grandmaster class or level 8 be uh, Behemoth. But yeah, it's up to you guys how you're gonna farm it. So yeah. Happy farming here. And the last way you can get it is here in the co-op missions. Special Invitation Beta and Gamma. So you see you can also farm it in co-op. You don't need DLC for this one. But it's harder to get it when, when it's here. Especially when you, are, when you have low level. You can't farm this unless you have good gear and play for a long time already. But yeah, if you if you don't if you can't farm this alone, then ask for help and ask if they're gonna do special invitation better or gamma. But most people do doing this uh, already, so you don't have to worry about that. Or when when you have when you play on a console or or in a version that no one plays online, then you really need to ask somebody for help. Otherwise. Yeah, you need to get good gear and do this alone. <laughs> but yeah, those are the, f the this is the last way. So, happy farming. All right, if you manage to farm a legendary El Nasa with good chips on it, then congratulations. I show you what I have, my stats, my skills, my gadgets and of course my equipment. So, what we have here is 71 strength since this sniper is light weighted, so you don't need a lot of strength. 71 is enough what is very good so you can focus on other stats then we have 65 vitality normally I did put 62 but I also had max luck so I did put the rest on vitality 65 so at least I can have shield matrix 2 what can help me regenerate my HP faster then we have 231 intelligence of course for the buffs of uh, obvious for the Defense field 4, the defense field 4 need exactly 231 intelligence. Then we have max agility, 255, because then we have 
more defense and of course movement speed. Also it can help for the bullet circle, what is good with snipers anyway. Then we have max dex of course to, so we do more damage to weak spots and if we crit we also do more damage with crits. And on luck we have max luck so we do more critical rate, as, so we have, we have more critical rate. Also it increases a little bit of defense, so yeah, it can help when we have this. Then the skills. What I have is Power Feed Shot 4, Guard Feed Shot 4, you know the deal. So we do more damage and here we have more defense. And then we have Speed Form 4, so we are at least faster on the field. So this can also help. And then we have Human Fortress on, so we don't flinch and can regenerate our HP with no problems. Then we have Skill Free Shot 4 and Vire Shot 4. These skills are only available on DLC 4, so if you don't have that, you put Power Brick Shot and Armor Brick Shot, so you can at least debuff the enemies and have no problems at killing them. Alright, then we have Conceal 4. Conceal 4 is also an important skill because then the enemies are having a harder time to detect you and you can just walk normally pass by them and they won't notice you unless you run near them or you're gonna shoot at them and when the skill runs out then they're gonna see you as well if you don't want the skill it's up to you it's also but it's it's very helpful believe me but if you don't want it and you could put you can put any skill you like maybe a sniper skill explosive shot or something like that it's up to you. Then I have Shield Magic 2, what can help against Kokidos or normal way against everything because if you didn't know that yet, the humanoids, if you use Shield Matrix, they don't know where you are. So they run away, put the weapons away and go back to their spawn positions. It can help, especially if Kirito has Sword Barrier, put the Shield Matrix in and he goes away, puts his weapon away and then you can hit his weak spot. It's, it's helpful. Also it's helpful against Kokidios if when he does his Bayblade attack or when he jumps or his ice. So against Kokidios it can help. But if you don't want this, you can put any skill here you like. Maybe Hyper Awareness, but be aware Hyper Awareness when, when you have lags and you have you use Hyper Awareness, it mostly no doesn't work. So yeah. Then we have first aid kit 2, anti aid kit 2, of course the two most important gadgets here. So we regenerate faster and here we can't get stunned, blazed or poisoned anymore. And then we have the anti air veil, what is good when you want to revive your teammates, put the, the air veil in and you can't get shot while reviving your friend and he also can't get shot back to back. Then we have the stun trap so you can stun at least the enemy bosses and have an easier time to hit the weak spots and kill them. So also the r -Vale is good against Kokitos when he uses his shotgun thing. Then what we here for, the equipment. What I have is the Onion Ray. I only use this weapon for buffs, but the only opponent skill, uh, the only opponent chip that is here is debuff stacking, 37%, so I can stun the bosses faster so a, a one mine counts as two when I put it in, when I put it on the ground and it explodes. It counts as two stun mines and I can stun the bosses faster. Also this pistol alone can stun with her bullets. It has bullets that can stun people or enemies. If, if you want to read it here in the descriptions, there it says. Then what we have here is the Al Nasa 4. With bounty chips, damage at max HP 50%, optical attack 80%, weak spot damage 50%, and damage versus max 50%. I know uh, pr probably I should have put critical damage instead of damage versus max, but this is the best I got so far, so I was happy with this one. Then we have critical damage, weapon attack, damage versus life ones, and uh, critical rate. All unlocked. Uh, so they are not bounty, but the crit stuff can help. Because as you can see, it's I think one of the least 
No, that's not true. But it's it's one of the snipers that doesn't crit a lot. There's more snipers that doesn't even crit, like the breakthrough or something like that. But it's it has low crit rate. Let's say that. Then for the accessories, before I show you my accessories, you can put any accessories here you like. That's good thing about my builds. You can put everything you want. You can put speed. You can put defense. Everything you want. But what I did is luck plus 30, dex plus 30, HP recovery and HP recovery over time. And here again, but instead of HP recovery, I have avoid instant death and HP is 10% or more. So I can get one hit. This can help me a lot because I regenerate so fast that I have full HP in seconds again. If you don't have that, as I said, you can put anything you like. Use the bounty once the recharge time, anything. This is what you see here. I did farm for a long time. I have, but I have this also for a long time on my inventory already. This can take a while when you want the exact same ships you see here. Okay guys, and that's for the build. I hope you like it. It's try it out yourself and yeah. See if you like this weapon, if it's something for you. I personally like it, it's because it's optical, I think optical weapons are underrated anyway, no one uses them, and yeah. I'm gonna show a little bit of gameplay, if you don't wanna see that then thanks for watching and see you in the next video. But for the people that wanna see it, I'm gonna do co-op special invitation, we're gonna test it there, if it's good against the boss there, then it's also good against Kokidos. So yeah, we will see, so see you there. Here we are guys, special invitation alpha. A little bit easier today. So the first enemies you don't need the sniper for. Also what I like is it has a lot of bullets, the, the sniper. So here we go, now we're gonna use the sniper. Not bad so far, but those enemies are low level anyway. We will see how good they are against the uh, Asnas. Those are the real threats. Also, I didn't put auto reload in because this weapon already reloads fast. It doesn't need auto reload. Wait, how? She did roll into in my Oh my god. You know what? Let's make it easier for us.
Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> Was a little bit confusing here. But it actually does good damage against them. When it quits, 1k, it's nice. 100k, I mean, not 1k. I'm confused, why can't they see me? This is a bug or something like that. Because normally he should see me. Or because of the grappling hook? I don't know. Oh my god, are you serious? I do this trick again, so he thinks I'm not here, but it didn't work. Oh my god, I hate it when he does that. Man, I hate him so much. <laughs> Yeah, it does good damage. How? How? Oh, come on. Today is not my day. Oh, just need one hit, okay.
Alright guys, and that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. Sorry I don't feel so well today. That's why I was talking very weirdly today. I'm I'm really sorry. Normally I'm not like that. But yeah, uh, even then I hope you like it and understand my situation. We have a Discord community. Please look down in the description below if you want to join us and talk with us. Don't mind if you do. Alright, and yeah, that's it. Also, sometimes I stream on my Twitch channel if you didn't know yet. So, look at my Twitch channel. It's also The link is also down in the description. When I stream Spedded Bullet, we can talk about builds or something like that. You can ask me questions or, or just talk with me in general if you want to. So, meet me there as well if you want to. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.